hi guys welcome back to my channel is debbie in the building as always if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome and if you're my old returning subscriber you are highly welcome so guys in this video i'll just be sharing with you um some mistakes or would i say the do's and don'ts of an upcoming youtuber yeah i know i've not really been on youtube for a long time maybe i'm not really in the right position <laughs> to give um advice concerning youtube and how it runs like <laughs> guys your girl is still figure figuring out some certain things i don't know it all i don't even know anything at all <laughs> I'm still figuring some things out, you know, but I'll just share my my own experiences and own mistakes with you guys, which I wouldn't like anyone else to make the same mistake I made. So if you are a new YouTuber or you are trying to start a YouTube channel, stay tuned and watch this video to the end. It will be of utmost help to you. Trust me. So you need to watch it to the end for you not to make the same mistakes that I made. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is intro. Do not create a long intro. Let your intro not be more than 10 seconds. You know, because people, once people click on your channel, they want you to just go straight to the point. Nobody has all the time to sit down and start watching your long intro, even before the main video. <laughs> Nobody has that time. So it's very important for you to make your intro very short. That is the first one. The second one I'm going to talk about as a new youtuber don't create long videos because you don't have audience already you are still struggling to get subscribers to get people to watch your videos so you will not be creating videos that are 30 minutes long or one hour and you expect them to sit down and watch you you know <laughs> it doesn't make any sense so make sure you create short videos make your videos um to be um minimum of five minutes maximum of 15 minutes next one i'll be talking about is don't use other people's content you see all these viral videos that flies left and right don't try it don't upload it on your channel don't do that <laughs> guys i'm talking from experience that is why my channel refused to be monetized in the first place after getting my 1000 subscribers and getting my 4000 hours youtube refused to monetize my channel because i have just one just one one viral video that i uploaded on my channel just because of one video guys youtube refused to monetize my channel so you can imagine don't ever do that you might not get might not get a copyright you know but when it's time for your channel to be monetized that is when you will know that <laughs> that content is not yours create your own content you know and upload on your channel don't take people's content don't take all these viral videos that flies up and down to put on your channel don't do that don't next one i will be talking about is don't use a copyright music yes do not do that don't use all this popular music i know as a new youtuber you you say you don't know the one that is copyright music and the one that is not copyright music you see all these um songs that are so popular in fact any song at all because even the ones that you feel that cannot have copyright they are copyright music both christian music if you must use a music go to youtube library to download music from there 
the ones that doesn't have copyright or better still you can type um non-copyright music on youtube and search for it on youtube and then click on those channels and find out how you can download them so don't use all this popular music on your channel as your intro or background music don't do that okay if not you get a copyright and once you get copyright um up to three times i think so three times up to three times youtube will demonetize your channel and you wouldn't want that so stay away from anything copyright music in fact to me self, i'll just say stay away from anything music because you never can tell <laughs> the one that is copyright music and the one that is not copyright music who must stay away from music if you must put music then go to youtube library and moving on to the next point erase every trace every symptoms of entitlement mm -hmm. nobody owes you nothing on this platform so don't just start your channel and you um maybe believe that this person will help me grow my channel <laughs> he raised that because at the end of the day you get hot or maybe you just started your youtube channel and all you do is to and um, contact this or contact any big youtuber to help you out you end up hurting yourself and end up um being disappointed. probably you've been watching this person for a very long time and <laughs> i know the feeling you know you just feel like ah since i've been supporting this person watching this person once i tell this person this person will help me out there is nothing there yeah there is nothing there but my dear is a very difficult thing for them to do on this platform so just do your thing anything you want to know about youtube is on youtube search for anything you feel you want to know on this platform you know is it how to edit search for it watch videos on how to do it practice it before you know it you are perfect when i started i never even knew that there is anything like editing videos if you check go to my channel and check my first two or three videos i did not edit them i just videoed myself and just uploaded it like that i never knew there is something like editing app <laughs> you know so along the line I got to know i downloaded it i have to still watch um, some videos how to edit and that is how i learned how to edit videos so anything you need to know is on this platform don't let anyone tell you to pay uh, one million or pay any amount of money for them to help you promote your channel or for them to do anything for you no don't let them open office on top of your head. Let them not come open office on top of your head, my sister or my brother. So, anything you need to know is on YouTube. Find it. Figure it out yourself. That is all for this um, point. I just mentioned the don'ts. Now, moving over to the do's. Be yourself. Okay? On this platform, you have to be yourself. Don't come and be forming for net for us. Hmm? Any language that you can speak. My brethren, speak. If it's broken, speak. If it's your native language, Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, Tiwi, and the rest of them. Speak. People that will love you the way you are will definitely come. Okay? Don't go about forming what you are not mm? at the long run you will get tired of forming <laughs> you will get tired of forming and once people watch you trust me they will find out they will definitely notice when you are forming and when you are being real so just be yourself so just always be active in your comment sessions yes because i noticed that some people when you comment on their videos they don't reply you they just ignore you no that is rude to me huh that is rude and it will not even motivate me to want to comment on your videos honestly some some of themselves when you even ask them questions on their videos they won't even reply 
as an upcoming youtuber forget all these big youtuber so they are big now so they can do anything whether you watch them you comment or you know comment people that watch them are there but for us that are still looking for subscribers women we got to do everything possible to keep the little subscribers we have so so the only way for us to do that is to always be active in our comment sessions always reply their comments when they ask you a question try to reply them you know make them feel at home make them f uh, feel motivated to always come back you know to watch your videos that is all for that point so make sure you support others genuinely yeah try to support other youtubers if you are a new a new youtuber you need to support your fellow youtuber that is the only way for you to grow before you even get the so-called organic subscribers hmm? <laughs> the people that will help you reach your milestones for now are your fellow youtubers so you have to also support them be active in their com comment session also you know in that way they will also come back and support you genuinely and if you must support people guys you need to do that genuinely forget all these eye service things i don't know why i'm holding this pen i'm pointing it <laughs> i beg you guys to ignore me i beg so if you must support people you need to do that genuinely okay Forget all these eye service things. Let's just forget that all these eye service things. Eh? Let's just try and help ourselves. Just do it in a way you want them to also do it to you. You know? Let's do it genuinely. Okay? That is all. Moving on to the next point. Try to create an attractive thumbnails. Mm -hmm. I know I'm also trying to learn how to create a perfect thumbnail. I'm still learning, but as a new YouTuber, you need to create a thumbnail. Some people don't even have thumbnail on their <laughs> videos. They just upload it and just leave it like that. No, 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 no. You have to create at least a good, <laughs> like me, <laughs> because I know my own is not perfect, but at least it's, it's good. <laughs> I know it's not better and it's not best, but at least it's good. So... You need to create at least good, you know, thumbnail that will attract people to click on your videos. Because it's your thumbnail that will attract them to click and watch. Hmm? So try and create a good thumbnail. If you don't know how to create a thumbnail, you can watch videos. Search it on YouTube. Just search how to create a thumbnail and it will pop out. It's not left for you to select and watch and learn. Okay? Yeah, I'm still learning though. Mm -hmm. That I'm saying all these things doesn't mean I'm perfect. Oh yes, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I don't know it all. But I'm just sharing the little I know, you know, from my own experience. Yeah, from my own little experience. The last but not the least of the tools for an upcoming YouTuber is be consistent. Not if you upload one video today. Before you upload another one, maybe next month in the next two months or in the next three months try to be consistent at least once a week just like me hmm? once a week and another thing is if you are not monetized i would advise you to just upload once a week you don't want to waste all your content when you are not monetized when you are not earning anything from it okay if possible you can be doing live streams and be uploading maybe once in two weeks but if you are monetized for you to make the money at least two times in a week as an upcoming youtuber so that people will be able to catch up with your videos hmm? me i don't support this every day or <laughs> every day uploads for an, an upcoming youtuber because it's not everybody that will um, catch up with all your videos because for now we are still supporting ourselves and you have so many people to watch so you cannot be expecting other, um, your fellow youtubers to be watching your videos every day oh, oh man it's tiring <laughs> i must confess i don't know how people that upload every day do it but ah, no 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 you must upload at least let's say the minimum of once a week and maximum of three times a week if you are monetized but if you are not monetized 
I will advise you to just upload once a week, you know, so that you don't waste your content before you actually start making money from it. So that is all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Feel free to share. Share this video so that every other upcoming YouTuber will get to watch it and learn one or two things. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you all. Bye-bye and see you all in my next video.